quarterfinals day and one more quarterfinal to come here on court number one. It's a men's doubles from the bottom half of the draw and it's the Olympic silver medalist from 2016, Kobe Shen and Tan Wee Kiong, the number 10 seeds up against the number 16 seeds, He Jin Ting and Tan Qian. Well, we know the top half of the draw, the, the silver medalists from the last World Championships, Hoki and Kobayashi, are through. The Olympic champions are out, and therefore Ong and Tio are through, a Malaysian pair already. And you can see in the bottom section of the draw that an all-European affair, that will be the last match on court number two, and that will mean a first European pair to medal in the men's doubles for seven years, since Bo and Morgensen from Denmark back in 2013. So the Bears making their way onto court and the Malaysians are now a split combination. They've decided to go their separate ways but because they qualified for the World Championships here they are playing Second meeting between these two right. pairs. The Hold first back. meeting was at the Asia right. Men's Team Championships of 2018. Right. Two straight games for the yes, Malaysians on that occasion. Here or there? Okay. Well, I hate to mention it again, Morton, but the rules do say that the shirts must be significantly different colours. Um, yep. And we've got, we've got pairs, four both four, all four players in white shirts, basically. So the Malaysian pair have got on the black shorts. And this is Govi Shen, 32 years of age, born in Malaysian cattle of Kuala Lumpur. They're both 32 years of age and both are fathers now, which is rather nice. Playing their fifth world championship as a pair, their former world number ones. And they were world number ones for 18 weeks <coughs> from the end of 2016 after their Olympic silver medal. First time they've reached as far as the quarter-final of the World Championships, though. And when we look at their matches, they had a bye in the first round. Okumura and Onodure of Japan, three games there. And then Geis and Fulka of Germany, three games there as well. Dropped the second game in both of their previous matches. So to the number 10 seeds, and this is Tan Chiang. He's 23 years of age, as indeed is his partner. Erji Ting, born in Chowu in Fujian province. Tang Chiang was born in Nanjing, which is where we had the 2018 World Championships. Third World Championship as a pair. And Ready like their opponents, the first time they've been as far as the quarter-final stage. Two years ago, they lost in the third round to Kimura and Sonoda. So the Chinese pair, they too had a bye. Heming and Stallwood of England, three games in their first match and then beat the Olympic bronze medalists. Cha and Sui Ik, and in both their matches they dropped the opening game. On par for this one, Christian Johannesson of Denmark and service judge Kulkani from India. So quickly, Morton, who won the toss? Who chose end serve? What what was the choices? Uh, Kobe Shem, Tanmi Kong, they uh, won the toss and they chose to serve. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Tan Wee Kiong, Go Wee Shen, Malaysia. And on my left, Tan Chiang, He Ji Cheng, China. Tan Wee Kiong to serve to He Ji Cheng, 
Lamo. Play. So the number 10 seeds from Malaysia. Gordon Shem and Tanwee Kyo, nearest to us with the black Service shorts. Over. One, up love. against the number 16 seeds, He Ji Ting and Tan Xiang. Safe, wasn't it? Yeah. Now the Chinese pair Two, only one tournament this year. The Denmark Open. One individual tournament, I should say. individual tournament they lost the first round the Denmark Open lost to the eventual champions so they lost to Hoki and Kobayashi that was a tough draw so they can safely say they came second they <laughs> oh. all out attack by the Chinese youngsters I think they played really well yesterday against uh, Aaron Chan so weak you caught a glimpse of it. I didn't see I, any of it. Yeah, I, I, I caught it at the corner of my eye, and uh, it was it was tight and close. But I think they performed well. Great attack, all out. That's an excellent start here Five. too. It must be quite difficult though for two players who have decided to go their separate ways to then come together for the World Championships, and you know really get behind each other or do you still Don't say this is the last hurrah let's really go for it and <laughs> see what can happen yeah i think the latter yeah the last hurrah but i i think that uh, i've actually seen caught glimpses of the two other matches they have played and i must say it's not been that impressive Well, Tan Wei Kiong is a wonderful front court player. Chin Yi Wee, well, she's already got one men's doubles pair through to the semi final stage. If you were with us earlier, you would have enjoyed that. On Yu Sin and Tio Yi Yi beating the Olympic champions. And no doubt that Chin Yi Wee's coaching played a part in that. Yeah, she's a very good coach. And she got uh, wonderful support Six, from the two. players, so um, she's done a good job. Oh, strings gone in the racket of Goldie Shen. Seven, two. Service error. Three. Seven. Four. Seven. Agree with you that uh, Tanvi Kong is having a, a very good game Eight. at the front of the court, Four. and of course when the partnership played really well, it was with a fantastic smash from the the back of the court as well from uh, Gobi Shem. Um, the the problem is Nine. with this partnership Four. is very often that when uh, Gobi Shem is attacked, he's having a tendency to lift everything. He never blocks. He never plays flat. He, he's always lifting. So their opponents, if they study it carefully, they can see that uh, you know they don't need to move forward as soon That's as they over. attack. Go with Shem. And then Five. I think you know Five. now they, uh, from whatever I've seen here in this tournament, they are not capable of playing as fast as what they used to play in the past. Yeah. So that's also playing a, a great part in this. Oh! Well, 
as far as the Chinese pair is concerned, I very much feel that her GT is the playmaker. I think he's the creative one. He is, and China's taken him out, out of the uh, mixed doubles, haven't they? They have. And uh, asked him to focus on his men's doubles, so um, I, I'm looking forward to see what that will sort of end out to be. Because I think he's a good player. It's in the mid-game interval with a six-point advantage. I'm not sure they've taken him completely out of the mix doubles. I know they've split him with Du Yue. Yes. Um, but he was entered in the Denmark Open with another partner. And they withdrew after 11 points or something like that. Okay. But one has to say that the entry from China at the Denmark Open was a little bit special, wasn't it? So uh, I don't think we can really read a lot no. from that entry. No. Mm. Her Ji Ting is a former world junior champion in both men's doubles and mixed doubles. Won his gold five. in the men's doubles in Lima Play. in 2015 with Cheng Shi Wei. He, of course, now concentrates only on the mixed doubles. Yeah. I think that's well left. <laughs> well, the Malaysians have decided to challenge. I'm with you, Morton, on that one. But look at the swing of. Urgy Ting, and then he's missing it, and then it's called out. Yeah, I don't think he meant to miss it. <laughs> no, 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 that's why I said well left. Challenge successful. <laughs> One challenge remaining. It was definitely not on purpose. Twelve, five, play. Good serve. Yeah. Well, it's over. Six, twelve. Another miss that's <laughs> well left. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But the Malaysian pair simply can't win standing like this and just trying to defend all the time. They, they have to try to go in and be a little bit more creative. The whole body language 14, is so different eight. between the two pairs. The Chinese pair look to me as if they're saying to themselves, this is a huge chance for us to medal at the World Championships. Whereas the Malaysians almost appear to be going through the motions. Oh. Yeah. 15, and that's what eight. I saw in the first two matches as well. Yeah. From uh, Kobe Shem and Tan Mikyong. But they obviously came back to win those first two matches, so we, should, we shouldn't write them off yet. And I would like to see them showing a little more sense of urgency. Urgency and desire. Seven, 
is over. 9, 15. That's gone wrong. It was interesting in the uh, Sudaman Cup and I think also the Thomas Cup that they played Herji Ting with another partner. Yeah, that was Sao so Hao Dong, wasn't it? Yeah. But they also had their ups and downs, as I remember. Yeah, good net shot. And a good smash from Gobi Shen to follow it up. 11. Yeah, 15. the reason I mention it, though, Morton, is because. I don't know, and we'll probably never know, but whether Tang Chiang was a little bit injured or do they believe that he's not as good yeah. and therefore they're thinking long-term, will they change the partnerships? I, I think they perhaps want to change the partnership. However, um, just like the Malaysians, they have qualified, so have the Chinese combination that they play. Yeah. Yes. But I think we might see a, a change in the future. But of course, if they do well here, then... Yeah, then they would probably keep them for <laughs> yes. a while. Yeah. yeah. It's all intriguing. of shots, that nope. cross-court smash, right on to the racket of Tamui Kiong. Here he is. Wasn't steep enough. Right into his hitting zone. Malaysians are beginning to work themselves into the match now. They definitely are, and I think uh, Tan Wee Kong is playing really well at the front of the court every single time. He's up there, he's creating something, and um, very often it's a winner. Challenges pulled out. Yeah, that was a quick challenge, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah but the aligned judge was right. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Time is over. 14, 18, play. 
<laughs> Maybe we smash the same pace from the Chinese pet. Yeah, now we've got a change. And not only that, it's also right, as you said, into the hitting song of the two Malaysians. So it, it doesn't really hurt them. Took one smash from Tan Mi Kong and then that was it. Well, this is getting very interesting now. And good for the Malaysian, it's Tan Mi Kong serving. He's serving slightly better than his partner. That's a clever, clever placement from Tan Lee Kiong. Well, this is remarkable. 17, 8.15 down they were, and 13.18. Four straight points, and one point in it. Mm, Chinese coach is looking a little nervous. It's a brilliant serve, and they're back level. 18, Oh, that one's wide. Third is over. 19, 18. Response. Yeah. So who's going to have the game point? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> really good reaction here from Kobe Shem. 19 all. Oh. Proactive there. Yeah, that was a shot tempting Tan Wee Kong, I think. And he kind of fell for it. So the answer to your question is that it's the Chinese pair who have the game point opportunity. That's a good serve. Oh, big gap. Oh. Oh. How did he get that? How did he get that? That's amazing speed from Herji Ting. Ah, what a rally, what a way to save game point. 20 all extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. 
I, I really like that angle, the last shot he played. Yeah. Second game point opportunity from a Chinese pair. We've been asking for more variety in their attack, and yeah. I think that was it. Well, somebody got a, a flash on their camera, disturbing the players. Opening game to the number 16 seeds from China, Fergie Ting and Tang Qian. 22-20 confirms the umpire, 20 minutes only for that opening game. And the Malaysians, an awful lot of work to do. So the players return to court for the start of the second game. Ho Ji Ting and Tang Xia of China winning the opening game 22 20 on their second game point opportunity. Oh dear. That's on this service error to open the second game. But there was definite signs, Morton, that the Malaysians, Govi Shem and Tam Wee Kiong, were, played themselves back in. They started a little slowly. Yes, I, I think so. They showed some of the very, very good qualities that they, um, they have in their game. And of course, uh, five years ago when they were world number one and winning the silver medal at the uh, Olympics in Rio, um, the qualities of Tan Wee Kong at the net. We saw how really good he is to place his shots on on the opponents so they can't really get it back. So his ability to play from the front and of course with the extreme powerful smash from Go Shem at the back we saw some of the qualities of yeah. what made them world number one some five years ago. Yeah. But look at this shot from yeah. Herji Ting. That's a good one. That's amazing. Fabulous. Oh, it's mighty close. Amazing have asked for that to be looked at. Instant review. And the nine judge got it right. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining.
three, one, play. Oh, string <laughs> went. <laughs> that was easy to hear, wasn't it? Yeah. Real twang <laughs> as the shuttle two, three. the strings. Too short. Both the lift from the ten gen was simply three. just too short. with the round the head action. Tang Chiang. You notice he's wearing a back support too. That probably won't have done his back a whole lot of good. <laughs> an example of uh, attacking Kogi Shem. He would always go for the back of the court. He would never play a block shot. Chung did the right thing. Good return of serve, rack it up, but had a miss, bit of a mistiming on the next shot. Yeah, that's good defence, I like that. Tan Wee Kyo. I want to still have to say that the placement of that smash from Ho Ji Ting is simply not good enough, is it? It, it was going through, run. yeah, it, that's exactly what was going through my mind. Is you know, they're so intent to hit hard, Ho Ji Ting and Tang Chiang, that they forget that actually what's more important is the placement. Yes. You know, these two Malaysians having split up, Gofi Shem's turn, uh, teamed up with Lo Juan Shen. Yes. They played five tournaments, had five first round losses. Tan Wei Kiong has teamed up with Tan Kiang Meng, yeah. who Seven, has eight. been a mixed doubles, yes. solely mixed doubles for the yeah. last few years. You know, when you. I, I know that. Uh, at the moment, they're losing this quarter-final, but they're in the World Championships quarter-final. It sort of seems a shame, in a way, that they've decided to go their separate ways. 
But they always had a, a little bit of different shoes, these, these two players. Yeah, oh! I understand that. Different personalities. Yes. yes. Yeah. So, uh, Nine, seven. perhaps it was about time. Yeah. You obviously know them better than I do, and I don't know the characters at all. I'm just looking as a pure badminton fan from the outside. and I, I understand your argument completely. Yeah, yeah. But if you're not happy playing together... Yeah, but I, I remember that uh, I tried very hard to keep them together. Seven. Yeah, when you but, were in Malaysia. Yes, because I think they are the best pair. They play really, really well. They had differences yeah. in terms of personalities and all that. Yeah. Two really nice guys, both of them, no trouble there. They just saw it differently. Yeah. Chiang get away with that. What was it? Did you call it a net shot or a block to the net? Whatever it was, it was. It was not so good. It was not so good. You're very polite. Here. There's me saying it was a shocker, and you say it's not so. It wasn't so good. In my, my Danish understatement. <laughs> well, they have the advantage, four point advantage here in the mid game interval of the second game, having already won the first. was absolutely committed to his forehand defence was Tan Wei Kiong. Well, you simply can't afford to do that, can you, Morton? No, but he got a little bit caught. The, the lift from uh, Shem was simply too short, so he didn't have time to get into a good position, so he had to yeah, take side, choose. And that's well spotted by Tang Chiang, because uh, yeah. he played it right at the right spot. confidence as the match progresses.
Oh, that time it was in. That's yeah, good control by Tan Wee Kiong. Yeah, <clears throat> once again the Malaysians are leaving all the attacking to the two Chinese, but of course what they do is that they're waiting for this counter-attacking opportunity. That was Plum on the line. It was. Good play. Yeah. Really nice play. Good movement on the court, covering 11, one another very well. 15. Yeah, certainly haven't thrown in the towel yet, have they? That's beautiful. A glimpse of Tan Wei Kion and his creative play and wonderful front court play. Smash what almost became a clear, didn't it? Yes. Yeah, I think he was so concerned as to whether it was going long or not. By the time he played it, it was sort of going in an upward direction. Four points away from being in the last four of the World Championships. Oh, that's added in as well. <laughs> And I like that shot from uh, Tan. I think the way that he lifted it over Wee Kiong was really quite cleverly played. That was nice. But it just shows here once again, as soon as Wee Kiong gets into yeah. the net, then it's game over. Oh, my goodness. Well, that looked like a slingshot, but it was that wide. Nineteen, thirteen. So two points away from a guaranteed medal for Ho Ji Ting and Tan Chiang. A super return of serve. Fourteen, nineteen. Match point opportunities for the number 16 seeds, Ho Ji Ting and Tan Chiang. And that's it, the victory for the Chinese youngsters, 22-20, 21-14. A match lasting just 40 minutes. Yeah, the delight for the Chinese pair. Match, 
today in an excellent victory over Tanwi Kyong and Gogu Shen. Confirmation of that scoreline, 22-20-21-14. So there's still play on court number two, but that's court number one finished and we can look back at quarterfinals day which started at 10 o'clock this morning with women's singles and the world number one and Olympic silver medalist Tai Su Ying beat the defending champion Pusalava in Kata Sindhu and in doing so Tai Su Ying secures uh, a world championship medal for the first time. Then it was men's singles and the former world number one Kidambi Shrikanth of India absolutely out overwhelmed Mark Kalyo of the Netherlands in just 26 minutes it was just a fraction under 26 minutes and then it was mixed doubles and the world championship silver medalists from two years ago and number two seeds Paul Varanukro and Tevrak Tanajai winners of their last four tournaments together a breeze past Go and Lai from Malaysia then women's doubles and the 2017 world champions and the Olympic silver medalists uh, Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fun, uh, too good for Matsuyama and Shida, who had won two titles in Indonesia recently. Women's singles, and that was the first uh, match we had that went the full distance. Akane Yamaguchi, the 2018 bronze medalist, uh, beat Ansi Young in three games, 21-10 in the deciding game. We then had men's doubles, and that too went the full distance. And On Yu Sin and Tiu Yi have secured Malaysia's first medal in the men's doubles for 11 years by beating the Olympic champions Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin, 21-15 in the deciding game. And then it was men's singles and the All England champion Li Si Jia having won the opening game obviously was in physical distress against Anna Zanson so who won a silver medal at the last edition of the World Championships and when Li Si Jia was 11-1 down in the deciding game he decided he'd had enough and unfortunately had to retire and then we had another men's singles and Loke Liu who had put out the Olympic champion and number two seed in the very first round was too good for Pranoy today 21 14 21 12 very impressive performance indeed then it was women's doubles and the Olympic bronze medalists Kim and Kong from Korea uh, beating Iwanaga and Nakanishi in two straight games much better second game by the Japanese there but still not enough then the last men's doubles and the Olympic silver medalist from 2016 Gobi Shem and Tan Wee Kion have almost certainly now played their last ever match together because they were beaten by He Jin Ting and Tang Chiang in two straight games so quarterfinals finished semi-finals tomorrow two sessions first session 10 a.m local time 0900 GMT second session 4 p.m local 1500 GMT from all of us here especially from Morton Frost and myself Jill Clark we'll see you for semi-finals tomorrow bye for now <laughs>